Hey guys, so this is number six in the series. It's called Hope. Um, this was also given to me on 11 17 23. Hope. The hope of salvation, the hope of eternal life abundant, the hope of peace, joy, and love. Hope is the element that can get you through anything. Focus on the hopeful when you are confronted with the hideous. Recall there are many mansions in heaven and each home is designed specifically for each believer. It matches their preferences and minute details that you have within you that no one knows but you and I. Focus on the hopeful things. Focus on how quickly you will be here when the hideous is over. Be of hope and share the joy of your hope with the hopeless. Hear the Lord. Hear me. My own are cherished. My own are loved. My own are looking at me and awaiting my son's arrival. Yes, some of mine are asleep, but soon they will awake. As each of mine awakens, they will be looking at me and awaiting my son's arrival. Those who hear, my own, soon will arise. This is not a wish, but reality. All right, here's number six verses. Romans 5, 5. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Romans eight twenty four. For we were saved in this hope, but the hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? Romans 5, 13. Now, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Titus two thirteen. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jeremiah 17, 7. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. That's it for this one, and I'll see you soon.